how are you guys doing tonight? So, uh, welcome back. Uh, I tend to be a sucker for, you know, on eBay of people throwing extra stuff, you know, I like, they're selling a box and they throw in some extra packs, you know, I tend to, I tend to fall for that pretty much every time. If it looks like a good deal, I grab it. Uh, I tend to like to get several products at once, that way I get extra stuff, you know, it makes it, uh, worth the money in the long run. So, if you get a good enough deal anyway. So, uh, as you see here, I just got some random packs that I've ended up with uh, here lately over some, they were just extras and things or bundles, a bunch of different products or whatever. So I figured we kind of go through and see what kind of random stuff we get. Uh, we've got some 2019, we got some Ixalan, we got some Allegiance, some Dominaria, Theros, and Ikoria. Another thing that I thought would be cool about this is if we go in order, well, I don't know if that's actually in order or not, but if we go in kind of somewhat order, <laughs> you can see, we can see if the, the newer packs actually are spicier. They do seem to be getting spicier to me. Uh, maybe it's just me. I could be wrong. But let's kind of just go through here and see what we find. I don't know. I don't really know what the big hits are and all the sets. Just kind of you know, just checking out what cars we get. See if we get anything tasty. Uh, I don't think 2019 has a whole lot in it worth much, but we'll see. You never know. Uncommons are Rise from the Grave, Exclusive Maids, Siege Breaker Giant, and Elfish Ch Clan Caller. I think the Clan Caller might actually be worth a little bit. And then a Woodland Stream and a Thopter Token. Right. Next pack of 2019 here. Let me know in the comments if you guys been opening anything lately. Anything good? We're kind of in that weird kind of middle area where we're, you know, uh, Ikoria is starting to kind of fade off and uh, everybody's looking forward to the next sets. Double Cast, Mirror Image, Poison Tip Archer, and Goblin Trash Master. Which, uh, you know, this new core set coming up, whew, it uh, looks like it might be pretty tasty. The Core 2021 is looking like... I don't know. Could just be me, but it looks like uh, that's going to be a pretty pretty powerful set. <laughs> it doesn't look like a core set at all. It looks more like a, almost like a master set or a Modern Horizons almost. It's very weird. It's definitely not a, doesn't seem like a core set to me. Um, they're going pretty overboard this year, it seems. Uh, Grim Captain's Call, Billing Aegisaur, Thundering Spineback, and Shadowed Caravel. Hmm. Pretty sure that one's not worth a darn. All right, one more pack of Ixalan. Come on, big old beastly dinosaur or something. What's a big card in Ixalan? I think it's, isn't the, what is it, Riding, riding Radiosaur? No, that's the, that one, that's the one they put in 2020, I think. I forget. Um, I don't mind one of the Marauding ones. Those are pretty nice. Belligerent Bronodon, Raptor Hatchling, Adanto Vanguard, and Revel in Riches. All right, so there's that. So, nothing too spicy yet in any of the packs. Of course, we're only opening a couple packs. We're not opening a whole box. This so I could explain it. <laughs> but, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Core 2021. Uh, it looks looks pretty insane. Uh, you know, all the sets that have come out this year, and the couple from last uh, last fall, winter there, War of the Spark and, and Throne of Eldrain, all really good sets. Sir Todd Goblin, this guy sees a lot of play on Arena and those Gruel decks. Archway Angel, Gates of Blaze, I just got uh, beat down by a Gates deck tonight. Uh, Lavinia, nice. Uh, not a lot of money, but a great card, especially for Cyborg. Oh, and then a Foil Rare out of three packs, an Ethereal Absolution. Not the Foil Rare we were hoping for, we're hoping for a Shock Land, obviously. Come on, Shock. Either Shock or uh, Hybroid Crisis. You know, I don't think I've pulled a Hydroid Crisis out of a single pack of Allegiance, and I've opened like three boxes or four boxes or something. Uh, I have yet to pull one, I believe. Uh, Depose Deploy, Smelt Ward Ingus, Ignis, Ignis, and Swirling Torrent, and the Smothering Tithe. Holy Smothering Tithe. There's that. That's a, that's a good card. Decent card. Again, I don't think, I think it's too high up there on the value. Might be a buck or two, but... It's seen a lot of play. Card draw for white. That's something you don't get a lot. Uh, Silhano Wayfinder. Clamor Shaman. Clamor Shaman. Uh, Sentinel's Mark. And Benthic Biomancer. Wow, no shocks. Ouch. Dookie. Dookie. We wanted a shock. 
Where was our shock land? I guess you can't expect a shock in only three packs. We got a foil rare in three packs. That's pretty, pretty crazy. All right, what is that? Mox Amber? Is it Mox Amber in Dominaria? Or was that, uh, was that the other one? Was that Modern Horizons? Yeah. I think, I know there's some kind of Mox or something in here. <laughs> I think it's the Mox Amber. Uh, and I haven't pulled that out of any of the Dominaria. And I have opened, what, uh, a full box. Plus, I think I opened 40 packs or something like that. Song of Frailies, Sage of Latin Am, Steel Leaf Champion, Yargle. Wait, oh, oh, Steel Leaf Champion was the rare. I forgot they do this legendary out of order goofiness in the Dominaria packs. Steel Leaf Champion can't be blocked by a creature of power two or less. 5 4 for a three drop. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, can't use chump blockers on them. <laughs> Sarah Angel. Wow, that brings back some memories. Sarah, Sarah Angel was one of the most expensive cards when I first started playing the day Revised dropped. A uh, buddy of mine actually traded a Mox for a Sarah Angel one time. <laughs> uh, Memorial to War, right of Bells and Lock. Bells and Lock, okay. Well, that's the rare. <sighs> Got me again. Then Danith Kepishan, Paragon. Oh, is this one going to have the Mox? You can have the Mox. Let's hope so. I haven't gotten a single one yet. I really want one. Not for the financial value. I want one because I want to use it. <laughs> All right. Dauntless Bodyguard. Warcry Phoenix. And not a mox. Haphazard Bombardment. And then Erdurus, the empty one. I'll fill him up then. Jeez, get him some food or something. Man, if he's all empty, get him some food. All right, so nothing spicy so far. Theros. Theros, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna end up being the breadwinner in one pack. That'd be pretty awesome. Everybody's so down on this set, but I think it's a great set. Um, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be surprised down the road. I think people are gonna be shocked at how well this one ages. All right, citizen petitioner. I mean, even the uncommon are good. Whirlwind denial, minimize prophecy, and Airbus's intervention. Ouch. Oh, we did get a foil entrenching layer, and of course our foil art land. So. Nothing crazy, but not a bad pack. One of the better packs, I think. And, all right, now to the new stuff. Icoria. One whole pack of Icoria. See what we get in here. Yeah, it was just uh, some random packs. This must be a Japanese pack. There was, did I miss the pull tab? Oh, yeah, I missed the pull tab. <laughs> the cards were going backwards. Got a feather token. We got a Wishcar Crag. And, oh, a foil Savai Thundermane. And a trial. Well, Ikoria once again, I think, proves to be the most expensive or the most valuable out of the packs. In fact, I think this one's probably. I don't know about the Ethereal S Absolution, uh, but this pack may be more worth more because of the Triumph than all the other packs put together. <laughs> and I don't. The, the Triumphs kind of surprised me. I, I don't know that they're going to. I think. I have a feeling they're not going to hold up value wise. Uh, we'll see. They might, but. I have my doubts on it. So anyways, there you go. Just some random packs. Quick video for the evening. Um, yeah. Uh, a lot of cool stuff coming up. I mean, Core 2021 looks like looks like it's going to be a hell of a set. I mean, all the sets this year have been just epic sets. I mean, everybody hates Theros, but Theros has got some really good cards. You got Uro, and you got Kroxa, and you got, uh, you got the Tudor, and you got the Lotus. I mean, you got some really good cards in that set. Um... And then Ikoria, Ikoria just blew it out of the park, I think. Um, Ikoria is just, just a crazy set. I mean, when you got to ban cards before the set even releases, that's a, that's a pretty powerful set. <laughs> then you got to re make make up whole new rules for your new mechanic because it's too powerful. That's uh, that's pretty awesome. So I'm really liking the Ikoria stuff. I love Theros. Uh, yeah, and I think uh, Jumpstart, I'm not sure. We haven't really seen anything of it yet, but I have a feeling Jumpstart might be another surprise this year. And then Zendikar, we know, is going to be a good set. So 2020 might go down as a year of just all really good products, except for all the secret lair garbage that they're throwing at us. But <laughs> as far as the actual sets, I mean, I haven't seen a bad set so far. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, Jumpstart may be, a, may be a total loser, but I doubt it. I mean, there's a lot of reprints and a lot of stuff that's not even standard legal in there, so... I have a feeling that one's going to take us by surprise, too, especially with, uh, 
you know, it's going to hit us quick because we only got two weeks after 2021 drops until, until Jumpstart drops. So because of the pushback on 2021. So well, it'll be interesting. Let me know in the comments what you guys think is going to happen with all that and uh, which set you're most looking forward to. I mean, aside from Zendikar, obviously. I think everybody's looking forward to Zendikar the most, but we'll see what happens with it. Um, probably a couple other videos here for you guys to check out. Hopefully you'll check those out, throw some likes my way, and I really appreciate your time. Uh, every like, sub, share, it means the world to me. So thank you so much, guys. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.